York City is incredibly generous. Um, you know, people reached out to us from every corner of the city. Um, you know, one of the things that we learned is that as a charity network, you know, we have got to be better prepared and more, more coordinated so that we can make the most of the interest, the giving, the generosity of others. When a disaster is heavy in the news, it's in the front of our minds. But the reality is that our lives are so fast and you return to normal. So for us, we actually found that even being able to come up with our message points and really be able to tell the story in a very succinct way so that any person could connect to it was actually a part of disaster response. Because if they're not seeing it in their faces, if their power is back on, it's very easy to now believe the storm is over. We're back on track. The subways are back. But that actually is not the case. A lot of our members did, in fact, uh, you know, lose their homes and were significantly impacted by Sandy. Um, however, uh, they, when they were called, uh, you know, to go to work on on different projects, uh, you know, with the city as well, with rapid repair, which we did a lot of of work on. Uh, literally thousands of, of members of the building trades went to work uh, in short order. What was interesting was when I spoke to a lot of the, the members uh, and a lot of their you know, business representatives, the main feedback was is that some of the people had it worse than them. Uh, and so they were very uh, moved by some of the situations that they experienced. Number one is there are people that are still hurting out there whose homes have been damaged or destroyed, whose businesses are no longer functioning, uh, and to get them back on their feet again. That's the first priority. Second priority is repair of infrastructure systems that is ongoing. Everything from the subways, the hospitals, the shoreline, uh, get things in running order uh, for the coming years. Third, and really this is all being done at the same time, so we say they're priorities, but they all have to happen together, is what I spent the bulk of the time talking about today, uh, and that's long-term mitigation and protecting uh, the New York region uh, from a changing climate. The sea wants to return to where it once was and we have to create mitigation techniques and resilience for the city and the region uh, if we're going to uh, uh, survive.